I'm Wendy and today I'm going to show you how to make moon craters. Okay, so we're going to start with a baking tray. I've got a cake tin here and I've put in it some sand. This can be any sand, I've used builder's sand. And quite simply, we're going to get a couple of asteroids here. Okay, and we're going to drop them in. And as you can see, I've put a sheet down. It can get quite mucky. Let's try a different size asteroid. You can see the bigger asteroid makes a bigger crater. And we can continue like this. And even get some mini asteroids. And that therefore, you can see how moon craters are made. Now, to demonstrate this one stage further, I've got another cake tin here with some flour in it. This is just normal baking flour. And over the top, I'm going to sprinkle. I've got here some cocoa or drinking chocolate. It can be any similar powder. The idea is to create a difference between the top layer and the bottom layer. Get a really good covering all the way around. So now you can see that the top is the lovely dark chocolate color but we know that the substrate is the white flour. And now if we take our little asteroids, watch what happens. We can see that the subcolor, the substrate, bounces up to the surface. And you can continue in this way The other thing you can then do, if I can find two of the same size, is you can also experiment and have a look what happens. I've got two of the same size here. One is being dropped from my shoulder height. And this one, I'm going to drop from my head height. As you can see, although they're the same size asteroid, the one that's dropped further has a higher velocity and creates a much bigger crater. And then you can just continue making pretty patterns and explain moon craters. Only downside of this is at the end, someone has to clear up the mess. Thank you for watching. Hope you remember to clear up. And don't forget to subscribe to Scatterdelic.